Don't you almost hate it someday, Joe? Oh. Comments below. Who let the dog out? She's got something in her mouth. Who let the dog out? You want a gorgeous? Yeah, lovely. Do you want a TV presenter? No. Okay, what's coming next? <laughs> well, my God, you didn't exactly catch me in my most glamorous position. Um, oh my God. It's the first dish. And what is the first dish? Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> um, I it today. Yesterday. <laughs> Go on. I haven't got a bloody clue. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god. Empan Give me a clue. Empanadas. Empanada! Woo! Look, I did one of your swings, babe. Why are you standing there with no knickers on? Shut up. <laughs> So I'm making today Argentinian empanadas Ooh. and I'm making the actual dough as well. Because I think ages ago, years ago, I made empanadas on here, but I used puff pastry, but I'm making proper Argentinian dough. And I've got this from a website called Spruce. So in here, I have got about eight chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. Uh, to that, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt. some peppercorns and I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves and then we're going to bring that to the boil and then uh, simmer it until the chicken's cooked. I've cut it up a bit which actually I'm a bit annoyed about because what you want is you want to be able to shred the chicken once it's cooked because obviously it will take less time to cook if it's cut up some more. So bring that up to the boil. Oh, I've got the wrong lid. Never mind, it looks quite pretty. And meanwhile, we'll get on with the rest of the filling. Part of the reason I jumped around between different recipes online was because the one where I liked the dough had a very different chicken filling. So it was chicken, it was sliced olives, and it was boiled eggs. I don't really fancy. Because um, when I think of empanadas, I think of you know how you like the peppers mark in uh, on the hot dogs mm. in America? That really soft, peppery cooked in lots of oil. Peppers, onions, garlic, spices. So I've done a bit of my own filling. So Mark, I don't want you to be scared by these peppers because you, they're going to be almost minced. So you won't even feel them because he doesn't really like peppers. But you'll get the gorgeous taste. Very, very fine. Oh, and if anyone Argentinian is watching, wants to tell me anything, that would be great. So I'm just gonna put that in the pan here. Yeah, so minced, minced up. 
Why am I using different colours, Mark? Uh, oh, because then you've got four different fridge for your microbiome. Yay! Oh my God, it's going in. We have, so we've got multiple plants. And don't forget, this 30 plants a week for your gut doesn't mean you have to have loads. It's tiny amounts. Yeah, even if you just have a spoonful. Yum. Oh, that smells so nice. This is going to make a lot of empanadas. So if you're thinking, oh, that's a lot of pepper. I'm going to put an onion in. As well, get it very, very small. I got a new one of these guys. I had it for about eight years chopping. It's so sharp. It's so good. As much or as little or no garlic. I'm putting three juicy cloves. Okay, so my chicken has come up to the boil. I can hear it. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna mince this up. Yum. Okay, into our pan. And some olive oil. down a fair bit now so I'm going to add my spices again now it's sort of a mixture of what I've seen online a teaspoon of paprika I love paprika oh I know that a teaspoon of ground cumin I like cumin the thing is no one taste will taste no. please with this recipe it's like you won't taste anything more than you taste anything else, if you know what I mean. Good. Whatever to taste chilli, you don't have to add chilli. Two teaspoons have come up a few times. I'm losing all that colour now. But it's all going to be wrapped in bread anyway. 200 mils of chicken stock. Now some fresh coriander would be good in with this as well, but my lot hate coriander, so I'm not going to put that in. Pepper. Pinch of sugar or something. So delicious. That is so delicious. So yummy. See if we can shred it yet. Wow. It was literally a few minutes later I just did it in my pulley. Look at that. That's amazing. Amazing. Oh god, because I wasn't looking forward to that. So that's how you want it, really minced up. That's my pepper paste. Now lots of people do this and then leave it overnight, which I think is a really nice idea, because then you're going to get those flavours warm, really into the chicken. But it will still be nice like this. You've got to leave it till it's cold, because if you try and put hot filling into dough, the dough will melt. So we're going to the gym. Then we're going to record the curly cooks. We got full on day. So hopefully I'm gonna make the dough tonight and show you the finished product if I don't that. So I'm gonna add some parsley in now. But as I say, coriander would go better with those spices. So now the chicken's in there, I might need more salt. Like I always say, I've got a salty family. Be better, be stronger. You know what I might do, actually? And I don't know if this is an Argentinian thing or not, so please forgive me if this is your national dish. I think just a little bit of grated cheese in there would be really nice as mm. well, don't you? Mm. I'm just gonna let those flavors meld away. A 
bet Dina's going to need this bloody pan for Coley Cooks. Okay, it's the next day. No, you don't say. It is. And um, we're going to make the pastry come dough. So I've got 350 grams of flour and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, to that we're adding 120 grams of really cold butter. Now, this is something that you can cut fats into the flour without the fat getting melty from your warm hands. Good, isn't it? Rub it in a bit more. We want it to look a bit like sand. What are we making? Empanadas. Mm -hmm. I'm winding you up now, baby, baby, baby. We've got baby. the chicken out of the fridge. That's what you want, sort of a sandy consistency. You've got a bit of a treat today. Instead of me and Dina going shopping, you get a conversation with Dina in the car. Right. It's really good. That's okay. all I'm saying. Okay. So an egg. And a third of a cup of iced water. I'll leave a bit like that, just in case. Jeez. Just in case, because you never know. I think this is going to make quite a sort of flaky dough. The water, I had it in the freezer, or if not, put in an ice cube. You want it really nice and cold. So are these are like empanadas? What? Shut up! So annoying. Oh, I think we need more water. Poor Mark, he was halfway through editing it's the vlog. It's a big vlog as well, because it's I the moment you reveal. Yeah. But I had to bring him over, because I realised this has to sit in the fridge for half an hour, and everyone's going to be starving. Because this is what we're having for dinner. Oh my God, we're so addicted to Married at First Sight Australia. I get so excited Good when morning. I think we've no, got that it's tonight. Thrilling. It's <laughs> thrilling. I'm going to wrap this in cling film and I'm going to put it in the fridge for half an hour. Oh. Just in case you're bored. Okay. I just like filming you do that. Oh, yeah. Mark, <laughs> stop it now. That's Chi Chi. Oh, she looked outside. How cute was that? How are you doing, Ned? Yeah, good. Sorry, I had to get on because it's like about nine o'clock at night now. I just everyone's starving, so I've I've divided my dough into I think ten, eleven balls. Ooh. So a circle, a very thin circle, is what we're after. Seven centimeters across. Would you say that's seven centimeters? Uh, I'd say a little bit more. Is it? Yeah. Why did we go to Argentina? I don't know. I remember your dad looking at us like we were mad. But well, we were, we were mad with the tiny child that we had. Yeah. It was horrendous. We loved it, but I was absolutely exhausted. Oh, God, oh, never again. It was well, so thankfully hard. that won't happen again, will we? Too far because a journey you're in, you're now with a infertile. small baby. I think it was both of us trying to pretend that we weren't. To be honest, I think you had a serious case of the geographicals. Oh, okay. And you felt if we did a big trip somewhere, you would feel better. Okay, so. But at that time, we, we knew nothing of what you were going through. We didn't know about yeah. all the stuff. Well, I do apologise, but at least we kind but of But it wasn't intentional. In it was like, you know, it was, you weren't well. I'm enjoying just hanging, shooting the breeze with you. Mm -hmm. Even though I know you're struggling with a bad head. I've got a headache. I know, bless you. They're sort of like yeah. giant plectrums at the moment, oh, aren't they? Very circular. Did you like, do. Did you like trigonometry at school? Shut up. Okay. Spoonful. Going straight in. Into the middle. And voila. I've got the oven on at 190. It's funny how every culture sort of has their own pasta. Pie. Yeah. Yeah. People love a pie. What are they? Shut up. <laughs> Where's the pastry brush? Where is it? Where is Where's the, the pastry, pastry brush? brush? Where is the Brush. So I've got an egg here. I'm just going to brush that around the edges. Mm -hmm. So roll it over. Okay, so just with the fork.
Am I tell the seeds the same as poppy seeds? No. So, they, in, they go in now for half an hour. 30 to, oh, 30 to 35 minutes. Mmm, oh, they smell divine. You're not going to be able to try them straight away though, because they're going to be so hot. Mm. Wow, they look great. So, should I should have cut one open. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Let me just try it. Mmm. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Delicious. Mmm. Those spices, the pastry is divine. Oh, wow. Delicious. The links. What is it? Well, there's a clue to the right of you. To the right of me? Yeah. Fish and fresh? No. Look down. To the right of your Toilet. Right. Funny memes. Funny I'm... shit. Oh, bloody hell, yes. Well done. Sorry. Right. I'll try and make it move without the machine. No, I can't. Right, you need to tense them. Oh. Okay. No, but they've got to go up and down. That's what that machine does. Yeah, that's what it's like. See, it makes something Yeah, show them up close, man. Look, that's it. Your family guests, you get it. I love the little dots down the finger. Yeah. You could almost use that as a kind of way to kind of go up the arm. And yeah, might. Not, I yeah. might. Yeah. I think you're getting a similar kind of one on this hand because yeah. I've got this which is very different. But yeah, 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 yeah. Connect. They're really nice, really nice. And, and look. <laughs> I don't connect. Oh, look. Dina said it looks like only coconut. Yeah, well, we're gonna make, we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take her into Soho <laughs> and then we're gonna get a QR code tattooed for uh, Lidl onto her forehead. Uh, so that whenever you put a camera up to do a selfie, she goes straight to the Lidl uh, website. My goodness. Funny shit. Funny shit. Let's do it. The BBC dropping this absolute banger before announcing tragic news. <laughs> Going. Oh, he's brilliant. <laughs> Nine people died in a car accident today. <laughs> Very good. Well, the funny thing is, is that years ago when you used to go, you know, when I was filming in places like India before digital telly and all that, you'd just get the BBC World Service would be the main channel. Yeah. And that music would just go on a loop oh, whilst right. India would catch up with the time It's actually such thing. a good tune. Though. It is. It's great. There's another one. <laughs> Sky <laughs> News has The Avengers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> crazy. Um... Oh, God, that thought it was the coffee having that effect <laughs> on me. That was good timing. Um... <laughs> That's fine. Oh my god, dog. Oh my god, dog. Oh god. So 
Oh God, I so love dogs. It hurts. What? I feel really attached to Toffee. Toffee's become nicer since Chi Chi's been on holiday. Yeah, but we want Chi Chi. But we want Chi Chi back. Christ, feel the sun. Oh my God. Uh, let Jeez. me move my computer because it's reflecting. White people after trying a tasty snack. Okay. <laughs> 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 Everybody does it, it's so funny. I love the distortion. Keep them away from me, those are dangerous. Chin chin. Um. <laughs> oh dear. God, it's a tough coffee today. <laughs> That's very funny. It's so true. I love though. the way, like, I love this kind of thick. <laughs> It's just so it's funny true. if you really think about it, like how long the world's been running yeah. and we're living in a time where people do that for fun. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, when the hangover is so bad that you enter the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory grandparents era. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone was like, and then you move to the couch for a change of scenery. It always alarmed me in the first film how they all lay in bed together. It, it, but then when they got the golden ticket, he jumped up dancing. I was like, have you really right. been pretending all this time? That's right, which leads to all sorts of uncomfortable questions. Yeah. <laughs> got the longest arms, looks like Lenny died. <laughs> Me chase. As soon as we start, I don't want it to end. Me chasing my dog around the house as he's suspiciously chewing on something I don't know of. <laughs> <laughs> so That's true. so true. I was in the bath last night protecting my tattoo. Uh, yeah. I was like that. <laughs> I'm very small. <laughs> Sorry. Me telling my family to quietly come to my room to see the position the cat is sleeping in without waking it up. Okay, from this point forward, we are silent. Not quiet. Silent. That's what you're like <laughs> yeah. with Sophie. Come over here. <laughs> God, I miss Pedro. What about him buying everyone the Five Guys? Did you like that? Yes. Thanks, so Christos. I love him so much. Don't know if you get to see this because you've got a baby. You can't do anything then. <laughs> Only kidding. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mmm, oh. mm, mm, so good and tasty. Mmm, oh, so hard. I remember when your mum used to do that. It's <laughs> horrible. Oh, no, this is going to end well. Oh, he's got the corner right on his head. Yeah. Oh, I love when he cuts up. Because you're like, oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, because often the after result isn't as dramatic as the action. Yeah. POV, you go to the bathroom, but you forget your dog has separation anxiety. Look at his face, so cute. He's just. Ah. Everyone's like, he actually looks really He stressed. looks really alarmed. This girl that works at Tesco's, yeah. and um, every day she like jump scares all of her like like all the people she oh, works nice. with, and but all of these are in slow mo, and it's just oh wow. Oh, nice sport. Oh, my God. Oh, she looks devastated. <laughs> this poor woman gets it so many times. She just goes back to work. She's got glasses in the white face. <laughs> 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 God, he's a man after my own heart. Uh, I love doing this to my mother. No, she's a woman too. Oh, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 Come 
could actually kill someone doing that. Maybe. <laughs> and she just carries on as my love. Tracy. Tracy. And then post it on TikTok and then she'll get abused. Me trying to see what my dog has in his mouth. <laughs> We've done that. Oh my God, it's when they get a bottle top. <laughs> yeah, Toffee's always the one. She was walking around with a kombucha bottle top. I had to get it off her this morning. And they get, they know when you want it. And, yeah, they get, and then they their jaw goes. Eh. Yeah. Me throughout the week. <laughs> So good. He's got an inexpressive face. I love him so much. Me, 10 minutes after saying I was going to kill myself. <laughs> 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 Dead End Town. Oh, I used to love that song, that sofa. What do you think about Joker 2 possibly being a musical? I don't, I don't like the idea. But, okay, let me qualify that. Apparently it's not a musical as in they suddenly go, but music features in the therapy that Lady Gaga's iteration of Harley Quinn uses well, in the work. asylum. Could that work. could work, yeah. couldn't it? If the music's good. Yeah. Um, Lying if I didn't say I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, buy him a little certificate. Yes. Me enjoying Harley Quinn. I can fix that. Remember that Sunday night is like a conspiracy. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, is that from Nightcrawler? Yeah, and it's oh, film is that so film good. This is so funny, it. It. Yeah. He certainly has an earthquake. <laughs> oh shit, my bad, bro. Wait for it. Yeah, it's like so far, but no further. <laughs> No. Oh shit, my baby. <laughs> oh shit, my baby. It looks like Ray Winston for a minute. <laughs> I presume it's a he. Um, Apparently, Paul McCartney for years has been doing this, giving everyone the finger when he does his glasses. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> when you're in a zombie apocalypse and a motherfucker is holding your arm while getting eaten by ten zombies, talking about some save me. <laughs> Damn it, bitch! I said let like go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, bitch! I said let like go. Yeah. It's true, like if there was a random person, like no, no offense or anything, but in all yeah. of these zombies, they're like saving people they don't know. know and all of this. And this Fuck is why Joel's shit. realistic because I just shoot anyone I don't really care about. Yeah, and also shoot people you don't trust at all. Yeah, like the woman in the car park. Yeah, my tattoo's itchy and I don't want to touch it. Yeah. Don't scratch it. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what the Can oh. you see that again? That's so funny. Look at that. 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 Oh, 
Oh, God! You've got a look of utter longing. I know, he's so cute. Cool. Spaniel is a sporting spaniel. Oh, Reginald, baby, you deserve to be up there, really. Don't you? You'd be better than these dogs well, on crafts. Oh, my God. You have to sit there looking at him like that. Eyebrows. How does a dog You're have eyebrows? You're far better, baby. You're far better. I know, oh he's so cute. I want to squish him. When you're playing truth or dare at a party and someone dares you to go home. <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's so to funny. Me. Really? That's I dare you to go home. <laughs> um, me following my sister as she's on her way to tell the family something funny that I said so I can watch their reactions to how hilarious I am. Oh. <laughs> 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 Kiki does that with me. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. I love sisters. I love the sisters one. <laughs> oh, he's stroking you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like you ain't coming back here, mate. Is scary. But this cat, when it falls, looks like liquid, and everyone's saying, this is oh. how cats just have nine lives. Okay. <laughs> how does it look? Look at it. It's like a sack of liquid. I know. I think that's how cats can fall. <laughs> <laughs> so how my childminder used to just throw Sanger out the window. Yeah. And we'd all just watch it just fall. No, I hate that. Mm. Man, you on the playground? show this so tell me because okay. it, it made me laugh i love this guy on tiktok like he's just so funny but this is him just he's really hung over and no. his parents keep coming into his room and he's getting annoyed with them but okay. he just cracks me up not one of them's helping me what the fuck's going on in the house of commons i'm hung over i didn't ask for this lad <laughs> sort your fucking attitudes out <laughs> what's going on with you peaky blinders bitch <laughs> sir <laughs> no sir look at me what is your attitude for love get on the naughty <laughs> sap you growling it's hard work what so you got a growl <laughs> like a fucking lion it's hard work okay. why are you telling me to get fucked <laughs> this attitude love actually have a word with yourself don't like it <laughs> dad <laughs> what is your issue <laughs> why are you so upset you talk shit. <laughs> Don't break my TV and stop looking at your mother's day presents. Oh, <laughs> you are. They're down there. You're literally peeking. I'm sick of you. <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> Why are you telling me to get that? <laughs> I'm not going for Why are you in my brain? Don't upset your cunt. <laughs> 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 what won't go in? Fucking screw! Oh, that's what Dad said last night. Yeah. I didn't need to know that. No, <laughs> sorry. I, I didn't need to know that. Yeah. Mum just said you and her had it on last night. I feel disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a psychopath with that fucking screwdriver in your hand, Lav. You feel like one? You look like one, Lav. I just love oh, it. Very, it's almost like he could turn that into his version of this country. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. he? It's like yeah, the woman I upstairs. Love, I love him so much. Um, have, you seen, da have you seen Daisy May Cooper's in discussions to play M in James Bond? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love that. I think it'd be great. POV, your primary school head teacher, no matter how loud you said your first good morning. <laughs> when they say good morning, yeah, 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 yeah. can't hear you. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 we can do better than that. 
Well, see, that's what he said. And then I texted her about it, obviously. And I was like, hey, he just said this about you. Like, is it true? Like, I don't want you to be mad. So and then all of a sudden, she's like, no, 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 that's not true. Like, I don't like you saying that. And I'm like, okay, I definitely believe you. So then I text him about it. I'm like, hey, she said it's not true. Like, someone has to be lying. Like, right? And I feel like obviously you, because why would that be true? And then he stops responding. So I'm like, okay, well, if you're not lying, I'll It's right there. Oh. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening now. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. <laughs> so good. Oh. When the hangover is so bad that you've got to just be with nature for a minute. <laughs> oh, it's that like not wanting to be in your body. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. It's a um, collection of selfies that Kei Hui Kwan took with all the celebrities. Fantastic. <laughs> He forgets he's a celebrity as I well. I love that so though. He's, he's like us in there. He's so isn't humble. He? He's like, like we would have been if we'd gone. <laughs> and then he's got his finger. I love that. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Why well, where's that? I like boys. What do you, what do you mean? Like, like you like boys? boys. Yeah. No? Yeah. You like girls or boys? What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> me, me. Oh, <laughs> I just love the boy's voice and his, yeah, and his so laugh. Cute. He's like an old man in yeah. a kid's body. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, Where's that? I like boys. Hmm? What, do you, what do you mean? You like boys? Yeah. No. Yeah. You like girls or boys? What? Huh? Me, <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 oh, that's one so hair. That's so cute. Flight leaves at 11 a.m. My dad at 2 a.m. and I only went to bed an hour ago. <laughs> Why are all dads the same? <laughs> it's so weird. Wind in the Netherlands. Look <laughs> People are just going flying. Oh my <laughs> so god. That was so dramatic. I know. As ever. This so is good. a wholesome little thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not real, so, is it? Yeah. Two widowed penguins comforting each other. No. A picture, as they say, paints a thousand words, and this set truly tells an interesting story. Tobias said that a volunteer told them that both of the penguins have previously lost their partners, and so now they regularly meet, comforting each other and standing together for hours, watching the dancing lights of the nearby city. Oh my god. 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 O
Oh, uh, dinner and now they go shopping. No, this is oh. a weird one. They go, they go, they go. They go to somewhere. Little. Well, they're in the car. They and go it's... to a church fair. Dina talks about a crush. Dina talks about a crush. Done, you got it. <laughs> So a little surprise today. Oh, yeah. We're not going shopping. Oh, no, I'm going shopping. Tina's going watch. shopping. But she's going to tell us all about her extraordinary night last night. I'm hoping it was extraordinary. Well, so, it was extraordinary for me and it was extraordinary for the 200 people that were there. No, but I'm a great fan of his as well. Oh, so okay. Dina has got a real love, genuine love for a man named Zach Bush. Dr. Zach Bush. Dr. Zach Bush, right? He and got me through the pandemic. He yeah. was the one that calmed me. He was the one that made me see sense of life, the environment, the planet and nature and everything else. And you need to follow him. But also he gave, he reduced your fear of death. You said to me yes, ages ago. Yes, that still... because that's another. You can go on YouTube and find his video of him talking about rebirthing. Um, also, he's here to sort of like teach us how to eat and improve our microbiome. So that's a massive thing, the microbiome, mm -hmm. and to change how we farm the land, how we should produce our own food, and live off our, as much as we can off our own food. Anyway, and he did things like. You, I've read about this since, but you were the first one to tell me about him saying to go out and put your feet into the yeah. earth every day. Because, yeah. like, trainers, right, are the worst thing for human beings because basically we've got this rubber between us that stops us getting to the electrics. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah, the, uh, earth, the earth's uh, field. Earth's field. So, so a lot of people now believe that you need to our, earth increase, yourself. our increase in anxiety is attached to this not being bare feet. So like Dina was going out around the pandemic when you're just standing in the garden yeah. every day for 10 minutes and bare feet. Oh, I know. Lots of people advocate I, that. It'll be a few weeks now before I'm out doing that. I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm 100% yeah. believing it. And you, so also, you, also, you also need to pluck a little plant every day, like pluck a little weed. When you pull something up from the earth, the microbiome that comes out of the earth goes into your Wow. Guts. So even a little weed? A little weed. And all that stuff of like being around animals. Dina's not so good on that. No, all but this, oh yeah, he said to improve your microbiome. So anyway, we're getting to that. So anyway, so he has been a huge influence on Dina. Dina does do do an impression of him. I can't really do it because his voice is so meditative that I just fall asleep when I listen to him. <laughs> so gorgeous <laughs> so so she um yeah so she i mean she mentions him most days of the week yes anyway anyway we're getting there we're getting there we've got to do Sunday. the build we've got to do the build so then all so ages ago she said to me oh i've got tickets to see zach bush no it doesn't happen like that oh it was on sunday Oh, you took Instagram? No. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Ages ago, mistaken. somebody else went. Yes. That's right. And you they didn't They bumped know. into him in that's, a coffee shop. That's right. And she, a friend of hers bumped into Zach Bush. He's, with Helmut Fearson. With Helmut Fearson. With with Helmut Helmut Fearson. He lives in, in um, uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. So for her friend to bump into him in a coffee shop when oh, he is my. her great love, she was pissed off. So then, And? And my friend got a Zach Bush hug. Yeah. Everybody wants a Zach Bush hug. And this is one of his things. He says, if you see me, ask for a hug. Yeah. Doesn't he? So he goes all over the world hugging people. And whenever you watch his podcasts or videos or anything like that, you'll see him and everyone's talking about his big hugs. So. Sunday. Up pops on Instagram. I am in London on the 21st of March. I was like, on Monday? On, on, on Tuesday, the 21st of March, you're in London. I need to go. So I get on Instagram and I get two tickets. She gets two tickets. Meant to be. So, on Tuesday, so she told me this, that she was going, and then on Tuesday, I said, so oh, where are you, what are you doing? No, no, we were, we were filming the Curly Cooks, yeah. that's right, because we had to do a pre-record this week. And I said, oh, she goes, I've got to leave at quarter to five. I said, why? She was like, to see Zach 
bush like how could you forget <laughs> that i'm seeing that bush anyway so we finished curly cooks yesterday off she went off i went and then this morning i texted her and i said so did he live up to expectations because i was really worried because i hadn't heard back from her last night and i thought oh my god she's kidnapped him or something oh, or wish, gone off I him. Wish. so anyway so her answer this morning on text was oh my fucking christ he's literally jesus on earth so rest of the story how was anyway, it anyway so we rock up to this little crypt in farringdon seats 200 people and everyone's like get in there get in and there and was it first. all women no, it was 50-50. Oh. Oh, we thought that. Amanda and I thought it's going to be nearly all women. And it was all age groups. And anyway, so we all bustled in to get our seat because I managed to get in the third row, which was pretty God. good. I bet you took your South London elbows with you. Oh, yeah, I did. And there were some people that jumped the queue. I was steaming. I was so furious. I was like, oh, you thought that was crafty going to the no, room? It's like the old days when we queued for Tony Osmond. He looks a bit like Tony Osmond. Go, yeah, he does. Going to, anyway, anyway, so we get in there. Anyway, as soon as we get seated, as soon as we get seated, people start jumping up for a hug. Oh my gosh. And when he does a hug, it's like 20 seconds. 20 seconds hug. But I was too embarrassed He's probably, to go. You know what he was doing? He was stealing your breath for his microbiome. Yes, that's why he does it. Oh. That's why he does it, you wally. It's to exchange your microbiome. Oh, I thought it was to be like Jesus and give loads of love. It's the same. It's a healing hand. Oh, right. Okay, go on then. Anyway, so my, my friend and I were too embarrassed to go and get the hug. What? We were just sitting there going, we're so jealous that they're getting the hug. What? We just couldn't do it. You didn't get the bloody hug. Dina. What's the other side but of I fear? I gazed into his eyes. He was I talking. gazed it. Like when he was talking, I was so locked into his conversation. Then he looked at me and I looked at him and there he knew I was his disciple. <laughs> and that's what he said it last said night. You. He said, you 200 here are just the start. Are just the start. Yeah. So, wow. What if he's a cult leader? He's a good cult leader. <laughs> I want to be in that cult. That that would you, so what if he was a cult leader where everyone had to have sex with him once? Oh. Would you say yes? That would be alright. <laughs> <laughs> so is he the first person you've fancied in a very long time? Oh, I don't I don't fancy him. I don't fancy him. But it's what just, about when you locked up being he's a gorgeous human being. When you locked eyes last night, what yeah. if that was a moment and he went, My God, we're soul brothers and sisters, we have to be together. Don't tell me you'd say no. I just wanted a Is hug. he a vegan? He's a vegan. Oh, I'm devastated you didn't get a hug. Dude. Yeah. Never mind. Where's he staying? We could go and we could go and um, go and. I don't know. Rock up outside his and hotel. It's such a weird, bizarre little venue, a tiny little crypt in Farringdon, seating 200 people. That's all it takes. Look how many hundreds of people we've told today. Yeah. More Leave him alone is for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Okay, all right, well, check out Zap Bush. Yeah. And Zap. the farmer's footprint. If you're a vegan or if you love the land and if you love the planet and if you love, follow the farmer's footprint UK. They've just started here. They've only got 338 followers. Oh, okay. No, it's big. Zach is behind them all the way. He started up the Farmer's Footprint US and now they've invited him over to start Farmer's Footprint UK. Oh, okay. What is it on Instagram then? Yeah, Farmer's Footprint UK. I'm going to follow them now. There you go. Dina's one and only crush, many years. <laughs> who was your crush? I was trying to remember who was the actor that you absolutely loved when you were young. Bill Bixby in The Magician. No, he was... Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, much more famous. Dark yeah. hair, bluish eyes. You were <gasps> Rob Lowe. Rob, Rob Lowe. Lowe. That's who it was. Rob Lowe. Is there anything like Rob Lowe? Mm, he's, too, he's got a much gentler face, much kinder. But was he very skinny? He's small. They're always smaller than you think, yeah. these cult leaders. Oh no, don't shame it because it's not this messy. It's much better. No, it just looks messy. No, don't. It's the munch brunch. What do we make? What's the munch brunch? Pudding. Fuck. 
Give me a clue. Oh my God. Give me a clue. I can't. I'm just <laughs> it. That's what I love. We both look at each other going, come on, remember it. Neither of us. Oh, I've remembered. Give me a clue. To be fair, we do make a lot. I get confused now with the curly Thick. pictures. Domes. Domes. Thick domes. Thick domes. No, you're lying. I didn't no. make anything with thick domes. You, the dome is part of the cooking process. The thick is the thing. Ah! Japanese fluffy pancakes. Well done. But and one thing I'll say is they only, stand, they only stay fluffy when they're in the pan. Does that mean you're a fluffer? It was actually quite difficult, this. I'm going to have another go at them. Are you a fluffer? I've just stop. stepped on something. Well, yes, yeah, stop it. You've what? stood on something important. Mark, oh, don't God, go. Laugh. Get out. Oh. Get out. Yes, glasses. it's my glasses case. Get out. No, but your glasses are there. Oh, no, it's not. What's that? <laughs> it's hair. <laughs> your glasses case has got a pubic hair. Is that? <laughs> it's what they use on shoots. Is it American? And they want it longer. And it's not that way. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you saw, on Pancake Day, Dina and I tried to do on Instagram, you know, these Japanese fluffy pancakes, and it was an enormous fail. Fair enough to us, she was trying to do it vegan style, using chickpea water instead of eggs. So, uh, she's not here. There's no vegans in the room. So I'm gonna have a go at this. What we want, we want that big wobble. We are going to try and recreate it. It's a, it's a wee bit of faff, but I reckon if we can pull this off, you could really impress your family with this next Sunday. I'm going to do everything exactly as she says and see if we can get that. Woohoo! Over it goes. The girls have been dying to try this. Honestly, if you've got kids and you say Japanese pancakes, they're going to go, oh, really? Mm. So let's have a go. Maddie's rocking out in the shower. She's got music blaring. So first things first, she says to put the frying pan on before you start making the pancakes. On the lowest, lowest heat possible. So just look how low I've put that on. And she said to also oil it at this point too. Well, we will do what she says. Okay, because I'm going to be separating my eggs, uh, yolks and egg whites. First of all, I'm just going to clean out my metal bowl with a bit of lemon juice or vinegar to make sure there's no grease, no residue of anything, because that will stop our um, egg whites. Um, increasing we want it to double so that's ready so then we have to break two eggs and you want to separate your egg white and your egg yolk huh? and to that we are going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract, it's a lot. It's a lot. Two tablespoons of milk. I'll whisk that up first. And then I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of baking powder uh, into four tablespoons of flour. Pinch of salt. A little bit of extra time. If it's the weekend, we can take a little bit more time. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix that in. That was really annoying, guys. You don't need to use your electric whisks for the egg yolk bit. Um, just use a normal whisk. It's a bit of an annoying recipe, this, because it says two egg whites and a quarter of a lemon. 
well, some lemons are this big, some lemons are this big. What does that mean? So I'm going to just put a teaspoon of lemon and hope that works. We're going to whisk these until they're frothy. You want to go too fast right at the beginning because that can frighten your egg, your egg whites. That's what you want until they, they look like that. Now I'm going to pour this in maple syrup while still whisking. Oh. do the egg yolk batter in a bigger bowl because I've got to add the meringue to the bo to this batter. Put the first blob in and whisk it in and then the next lot we fold in. Why are we folding it in Mark? Keep the air. Those big, gorgeous, yummy clouds. That's what we're aiming for. Come on, speed up. all of that right this is the bit when she puts it in the pan she puts the spoon on puts the lid on ah okay right so we're going to put a spoonful in now oh i'm so excited Separate. Hang on, we need to cover it now for six minutes, but I've done it too close to the edge. That'd be right. So I'm going to time that for six minutes. Okay, so now it's time, it's been six minutes. So now we add another spoonful of, it says to make a little den. And then you add your next spoonful of butter. Is anyone going to bother to do this? <laughs> this only makes two. Please don't do what I do and did and put it too close to the edge so I can't put the domed bowl on. Um, so you, then you add a tablespoon of water just on the edge there because that's going to create more steam. Oh! Yeah, and then you cook it for three minutes. So I've just covered up my little steam hole there because we need this steam. Oh no! They're having sex with each other. <laughs> They've conjoined. They've connected. Okay. Right, now it now says confidently flip. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Yeah. No. They're not ready. No. We're going to have another minute. One minute. <laughs> I've lost count of how many extra minutes we've done now. Do you 
think this is going to be it this time, Mark? Yeah. Confidently flip. I definitely think I was a bit too cautious with the flame, but you're going to have to find your own way with your own flame, guys. Two, three. Hey! Nice, like that to nice be wobble. smoother. Got a nice walk, you need a good tosser like me. You need an excellent tosser. Mm. Oh my god, I should have put more oil. Where are you going? You're going to drop it. No, I know, but. Where are you going? This is ridiculous, I like the egg race. Oh. Yay! Wait. So far, so brilliant. It sounded like your bottom. It did. Six more minutes. Six? Oh, yeah. Wow! A bit worried that I didn't re oil the pan. Okay. Okay, so it just went off. That was another six minutes. Mads, prepared to be impressed. Whoa! Right, now what I would do in the future is make four out of those, not two. And look, they deflate pretty quickly. Don't they? So make sure people are running to the table. Okay, and I've whisked up some cream here. I love these frozen blueberries. You can just pop in the microwave for a few seconds. Oh, I need another one. Mmm. Voila! Souffle pancake. Do you want me to try it? Let's see what all the fuss is about. Oh, they are really nice. Lovely. Mm. Lovely. Worth it. And the thing is, once you've made it once, the next time you make it, it'll be so easy with that puffing. Yeah. What section of the show do you think this is? Is it uh, um, um, the last, last big meal, which I can't remember what it's called? No, that's been done. Oh! What comes after that? There's nothing after that. So, what does that mean? It's the end of the show! Yeah!